Hello everybody, welcome back to our next Pokemon episode. So we fought this guy in the gym. Um, we have the Destroyer level 39, Respect 38, Maya 40, King James 40, Generator 35 and Eric 34. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to have a refresh my memory as to where we went and where we need to go. Let's battle this guy because I think we're going to end up here eventually. Hopefully by the end of today's episode we can have finished it. We would have finished the gym. Sing out a hop hip. A nice grass type which the destroyer should be able to get through. I'm going to leave with this last strong bullet punch. I'm going to put my phone on silent. Sorry, everybody. Turtwig, which is a grass type. So we're going to send in Strong Maya. Boom, boom. I'm going to lead with Maya's flamethrower. Taking out Turtwig. Winning the battle. Boom. Okay, so let's go to this cannon. Send the nuts to the other side of the room. Now we've got our security guard. At least he looks like a security guard. God knows what he is. I know he's a pilot. My bad. <laughs> pilot Ted. Ooh, Conkelda. So this is a fighting type Pokemon. He can knock out the destroyer because the destroyer is the the destroyer is also steel type. So steel type is weak to fighting, but psychic resists fighting. So it's neutral. Gonna send out a strong psychic and oh, he held on, but he went for a bulk up, so he didn't attack us, and we're going to no 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 knock him out. The destroyer came through Loudred. This was our Cerrone before he fainted. Let's send out our boy Eric. Get some of that experience points. Boom, let's go, Eric. Gonna go with the strongest of Dragon Claws. Loudred, you're out of here. Boop. It's back here. So we kind of didn't go anywhere with that. Which makes me think I missed something. I haven't done this gym battle in a long time. Okay, I can't go down. Can I enter it this way? Yes, I can. Okay, let's see. Oh, they're going to knock us out with their first technique. Let's see how we go. Who's this? We got... No, ah, oh, Pilot Chase. So then he had a Chinchow, which is a water and electric. Actually a really cool Pokemon. It has two different abilities. Water Absorb, which means water type moves don't hurt it. And Volt Absorb, which means electric type moves don't hurt it. But... The destroyer came out with us stronger stuff, psychics. And we're gonna go back in the cannon this way. Boop! Other side of the room. We're going upstairs to take on this man with his perfect plan. But everybody's got a plan until they come in they come into contact with our Pokemon. Carnivine, which is a strong grass type. If it wouldn't take like unnecessary moves, we would have swapped out into Eric to lead the way. But he's just got one Pokemon. I'm thinking we're going to lead the gym battle with Eric. I'll let Eric get some experience points. 
Through the ring. Boom, through the two rings. Boom, coast to coast. Knocked into the wall. And boom. All right. This is the gym leader. We're going to send out, send our boy Eric to the front. While we have the chance, just in case we get stuck, let's heal up our team members. Respect and the Destroyer. And let's try our luck. Come on, no legendaries. Nothing that's going to obliterate our team. Okay, sending out a Pineco. This is where it gets a bit scary because Pineco can learn self-destruct or explosion. Which will do a lot of damage to Eric. I'm going to go for a Fire Fang and hope for the best. Oh, Eric came through with a big critical hit. Alakazam. This is what I was worried about. We don't... Oh, do we... Is James Dark type? Yes, it is. So, I'm going to swap out into James so that if Alakazam comes out with a strong um, Psychic or Psy Shock, we'll be able to take the, take the move. And we're going to go with a Bug Bite. Ooh! Strong, James. Unknown. So, unknown is going to be a fairly easy Pokemon. So, let's give our experience points to Eric. And we're going to hit the biggest of Shadow Claws. Because Unknown is still a Psychic type. Eric for the win. You're an amazing Pokemon trainer. Take my gym badge. You got it. And boom. We have our sixth gym badge. Now all Pokemon up to level 70 will obey us. And we're going to use this cannon to get out of the gym. Imagine if this was like a real gym and you got to get around using cannons. Mate, Skylar, you've got no respect. Oh, and ends back. They may say it is for understanding one another better, but what trainers really use for battles is to compete. And they hurt each other's Pokemon. It's terribly painful. Whatever, I'm going to talk to your Pokemon. I've been living with Pokemon since I was born. All right, mate, let's go. Hey, Rishiram, or is it Eric? Would you use some kind of trainer? We are. Okay, okay, got it. So, we're giving the Pokedex, blah, blah, blah. And he's saying that we really care about our Pokemon. You got that right, mate. Just going to skip through. Oh, he gave us the head shake. No respect. And get out of here. Okay, before we move on, let's heal our team. Let's check our town map to see where we should be going next. Whenever I forget where I'm going in a Pokemon game, I always use the town map. So we're going to be going somewhere that's a little bit up and to the right hand side. So we're going towards Route 7. On the way we might see Celestial Tower, which I think we already went to. But let's have a look. See if something new is open to us.
I'm going to try to be really careful because I don't want to battle any other Pokemon or any trainers. Oh, mate. Our cross transceiver is ringing. Who's going to be? It's our mom. Okay, she was just doing a check in. I don't want these clowns to catch up to me. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, I knew it. One step in the grass. I'm not sure if this is a new route, actually. I don't remember seeing it come up. I'm going to catch this ghastly. And if we can use it, we will. If we can't, we'll catch another Pokemon. Gonna start off with a quick ball. Boom, boom, clap. Boom, boom. <laughs> I don't know. I was clapping and saying boom, boom. And when I stopped clapping, I said clap. I'm strange, I know. But, oh, too good. Ghastly, join the squad. Now, we're going to nickname. I know Ghastly is a female, but. I'm going to give Ghastly the nickname that I've given someone in my class. We're going to call Ghastly A Drive. And we're going to move up. Oh, wait a second. Wait a darn moment. Yeah. The route just changed, didn't it? So where were we? Route 7. I think we caught something Route 7 already. Now we're in Twist Mountain. So what we'll do is, we won't use the A drive we caught. <laughs> but we'll use a different, catch a different Pokemon and give it the same name. I don't want to disrespect my boy A drive like that. <laughs> Okay, so Smoochum is an Ice Psychic type. In the rain, we're going to lead off with our boy Eric. And it's saying the Dragon Claw is the strongest move, so I'm going to go with that strong Dragon Claw. Boom! Eric, level 35. Eric for the win. Sending out a Kingler, which is a Water type. Leading with our boy, G -G -G Generator. I always thought Kingler looked really cool. Um, I think it's funny. Most Pokemon say their name, but what did Kingler say? Cookie, cookie, cookie. <laughs> and it sounds like cookie. Boom. Oh, Generator 36. Can he learn Slash? I don't think we're going to learn Slash. We're going to leave our... Oh, mate. I hate it when I press the wrong button here. It keeps us in a bit of a loop, but there we go. No Slash and then Totodile. So it is another water type. Another really cool Pokemon. I usually name my Totodiles Bam Bam because when it evolves into its medium form, it looks like, oh, I didn't switch. That's okay. It looks like um, it's wearing a, like a cloth like it's from the Flintstones. Now, leave Annie, which is a bug grass type. That did nothing to leave Annie. Mate. If I didn't press the wrong button, I would have swapped out into probably Maya. Oh, fire out generator. You got me scared for a minute. And we got this fella back. What's he giving us? Surf. Excellent. It's a really powerful water type move. And it helps us surf on the water. All right. Before we move on, let me get out the bike. 
Can we catch anything here? Nope. All right, let's move along. Okay, this hiker wants to battle us before we get into the cave. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, my goodness. Leading off with a shaman, which is a grass psychic type. Luckily, we had Eric in the front, so it's legendary versus mythical Pokemon. I'd love to have a shaman on the team. Gonna do a strong fire fang. Oh, and it did almost nothing. But we did burn shaman. I think shaman's designed after a hedgehog, so it looks like a really cool... And I think it's just... I don't know, it looks cool. <laughs> I really hope Shaman doesn't try and heal stall us. We're going to go one more. And if Shaman, because Shaman's using Synthesis, which is uh, filling up its health again. And it's got a Leech Seed on us. Oh, we flinched it. It did get the health. The burn brought it back to normal. And we're going to finish off with a d -d -d Dragon Claw. Boom. Oh, big experience points for Eric. We are going to swap out just because we do have a Leech Seed on. And we'll go out into Lanoon, which is a normal type. We don't have anyone with fighting type moves, but we'll send out Maya. Can anyone guess what move we're going to use with Maya? That's it. We're going to lead with Maya's Flamethrower. Taking out Lanoon. Oh. Linnun survived that one. <laughs> All we need is Maya's flamethrower. <laughs> Boom, Linnun's gone. While we're here, we'll heal up Eric a little bit. Because we are trying to focus on leveling up Eric. Do, 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 do. All right, next Pokemon we catch is on our team, and we are. Oh, Camerat, the Fire Camel. It's Fire Ground, which means his ground type is strong against Eric, and I don't want to risk Eric getting knocked out. So let's go into Respect. And let's go with, I think the Ice Beam will be, let's go with a Bite. The Ice Beam has a chance of knocking it out. The Strong Flame Burst. I'm going to throw a ball here. That's been three moves, so the Quick Ball might not be the best. Cherish Ball also isn't the best, but I like the way it looks when the Pokemon comes out of a Cherish Ball. <laughs> Okay, come on, camera up. One. Oh, mate. Magnitude, which is a ground type move. Level seven. Okay, okay. Let's go. You know what? Maybe you want a dream ball. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Boom. Camera up. And to make up for it has volcanoes on its back. If magma builds up in his body, I missed the whole thing. Just that it has volcanoes on its back makes it sound super cool. A drive. Boom. So we got a drive. We might have a look at our team once we get to the next town. Do a little bit of a swap up.
Let's. What else could we have caught here? Are there any legendaries? Anything? Oh, yeah. Do -do -do -do. Aerod oh, Aerodactyl would have been mad to have on the team. That's the problem. You always see like extra Pokemon. You're like, oh, you would have been really cool. You would have been really cool. You would have been really cool. Mate, let me run away. I'm scared. I forgot with this part, we've got to go through different cave exits and entrances till we find the way out all the way down to the bottom let me just check how we're going for time we are at where is it 21 minutes hopefully we can get to the town before we hit the 30 minute mark I think we might give our team a big shake up when we get back to the next town. Executor, which is a grass and psychic type. When we get to the newer games, Executor becomes a dra dragon grass type. But a strong fire fang takes out Executor. Kangaskhan. Who can we send into a Kangaskhan? Let's go into... Let's give King, King James a run. With the strongest of poison jabs. Boom! Oh, and he poisoned. Finishing off with another boom poison jab. Oh, meow. King James has got this with another poison jab. Boom. <laughs> meow, get out of here. Oh, Monferno. Another one of the fire starters it evolves into Infernape. Mate, you were looking the other way. Dugong. Do gong gong. Um, there were a long a while back now when I was still in high school, I think. Um, there was a big ad campaign where Australia's zoo had brought in a dugong, not as not the zoo, sorry, the Australian Aquarium in the city, had brought in a dugong, and they were talking about how it's you know it's called the mermaid of the sea, and then when when you go like we went to see because it, it was you know it was new it was cool, um. And then while we were there, they chat like they told us, yes, yeah, some some people call it the mermaid of the sea. And they said some people call it the cow or the sea cow, the cow of the sea. And it was just kind of like a big, you know, like for lack of a better word, a bit of a derpy animal. Oh. All right, Eric hit 36. Oh, whoops, I'm in the loop again. We're not going to learn slash. Keep old moves. Give up on slash. While we're here, we'll heal up G Generator. Boom. Part of me is hoping that we can like cheat just a little bit. And if we bump into a legendary Pokemon, we get to throw one ball and, you know, hoping we find something like super cool. Come on, Stent Law. I 
I hope my controller isn't too loud. Like it sounds really loud on my end. I'm using an Xbox controller on my computer. Oh no, the Standler. I think if we caught a Standler, we'd have to call it Rudolph. Or one of the names of the other reindeer. I don't know all of them. Dasher, Donner, Dancer, Prancer. Vixen? I don't know. I don't know all the Rudolphs, all the reindeer names. Hopefully you guys know a couple more than I do. Now all I'm singing in my head is the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer song. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say. Oh mate. There we go. I was struggling to get in the door while on the bike. Rudolph with your nose so bright. Stay in my Pokeball all right. Then Rudolph joined our team. And he battled the gym leader. All right, I'll stop uh, breaking everyone's ears with my amazing singing. I hope I'm going the right way. Max Potion. Now we're going to, I do really apologize as to how much the game lags on my laptop. There's a doctor just on the other side. Spin a rack. All right, we're not going to get this object, this item, but we are going to get back on our bike. All right, I'm going to, oh, Mime Junior, which evolves into Mr. Mime. To make this a little bit quicker, I might throw up a repel. Okay, we're going to go into a bag. Our repel is right there and I've missed it. Okay. Ah, oh, he baited me. I went for the item because I thought it's just right there. There's nothing there. We've got a repel. Let's go. And he baited me. A Celio, which is an, a water ice type. So both types are strong against Eric. So we are going to swap out into, let's go into James. Gonna throw out the biggest of poison jabs. Aurora Beam, which is an ice type move and it would have taken a big chunk out of Eric's health. Oh, mate. I'm going to try my luck. Let's see how we go. Okay, he swaggered us. Rose our attack. We're confused. And James hit himself in confusion. Mate, no respect. So we will be healing James up. Let's use a super potion because I think we've got a doctor just outside the cave. And the poison should take out Celio this turn. Boom. This item better be good. PP up, not that good. So boost our power points for the amount of times we can use each move. A move. I think this doctor wants to battle us first. 
Yeah. Let's go. An Excadrill, which is a ground and steel type. I love Excadrill, so I think it's one of the coolest Pokemon. I hope that Eric's Fire Fang can send him back to next week. Fire Fang. Boom. And he did a Home Claws, which gave us the advantage. And Excadrill, get out of here. Sending out a Luxray, which is an electric type. Let's give the Destroyer a run. We're going to the biggest of Earthquakes. And three, two, one. Luxray, get out of here. Oh, he's alive. He's still here. Luxray, I said... Get I oh, yeah. hyper potion, mate. And the destroyer hit himself in confusion. No, 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 no. That's not how it goes. Oh, destroyer. Here's where I'm going to give the destroyer a chance. We're going to try our luck. Either the destroyer takes out Luxray or, the, or we lose the destroyer. Come on, destroyer. Oh, mate. Oh, the Destroyer coming through. Oh, level 40, mate. Iron defense, too good. Let's get rid of Home Claws. And this will mean that his uh, physical defense will be really high, so people won't be able to um, take out the Destroyer too easily. Oh, whew. I got scared we're going to lose the Destroyer then. I think it's this one. It is not this one. Mate, all right, we're coming close to our time. Sorry, what time are we at? 32 minutes, all right. We'll do this battle and then we'll call it at the end of this battle. Cricketune, which is a bug type Pokemon. Eric with the strongest of fire fangs. Boom, 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 boom. Get out of here, Cricket soon. And I already think I know who we're swapping into, Quillfish. Now, I'm only going into respect because we haven't said it all this lesson. I don't feel like we've said it at all. Maybe we said it once and I forgot because I'm old and I forget things. So we're going to build up. Oh, we did because he's white. But I don't remember if I said it or if I just thought it. But Quillfish, you have no respect. <laughs> and respect takes that win for us. Boom. Excellent. All right, guys. So we're going to save the game. I always do my first save like the boring way. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if that saved everywhere because it didn't come up on my screen. All right, excellent. Thank you all for watching. If you need any help, ask your teachers and I'll see you guys next time. Whoop, close.